Good morning, everyone. The birds are chirping this morning. I'm in a good mood, although, uh, yep, the sun's just getting ready to rise. Uh, I had to set an alarm this morning because we're getting a rock driveway sometime between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. today. Yes, finally. That's right. Welcome everyone. Nomadic Fanatic Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well. It's uh, another another big project here. Actually a much needed thing that we need to do and uh, let's let's not wait any longer. Now that it's sunny and nice it is uh, we're gonna have some monsoon seasons come where it's gonna rain really heavy for a short period of time and uh, I have mentioned in previous videos that the soil here in this part of Arizona it's great when it's dry. It's it's perfect. However, if there's any moisture at all, the clay sticks and you'll have four inches of clay on the bottom of your shoes and it's difficult to get off because it just turns into a liquid mud. Anyway, I understand the importance of having a uh, rock down here on the property. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of prep work here to get a few things ready. Oh, I, I also made a change because now in the summertime, the sun is directly above us. I mean directly above us. So my portable solar panels are now laying flat to charge what's going on inside here. Uh, just, I mean, it probably be bumped up like 30% better efficiency once I put them flat. Before the truck gets here, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might be missing out on a couple uh, very interesting developments going on here. It's free. You can just join me, nomadicfanatic.tv there, and uh, find out what's going on over there. Uh, but yeah, so I need rock on the driveway. I definitely need rock here in front of Babe the Blue Box, in front of the RV. Um, I got some price quotes when I first moved here and I was not impressed. I'm taking all the information that all of my friends have, have given me and uh, I've been filing, filing that away. However, you could spend $10,000 on rock for this particular property here, or you can do it the nomadic fanatic way and just kind of do it as I have the money and income to add to it, right? So, so you can see at the front of my driveway up here, we'll transition from dirt to the uh, cinders that the septic people put in that lead up to the end of my driveway right there, and then it then it fades away. Well, over at Vegabond Base Camp, Kevin's got red cinder everywhere. I mean, he's got so much red cinder rock and I think it's really pretty with the red rock and then the green trees and stuff like that. However, um, I was looking for a more affordable uh, alternative to spending nearly $10,000. So uh, I called a couple companies. I found a company here that has imperfections in their landscape rock. They have something called Grizzly Run, and it's something that not a whole lot of other people around here have talked much about. Uh, Grizzly Run is, is much, much cheaper than the red, red Cinder by about one third the price, actually. And it's $350 delivered on a truck, a 40 yard truck, and I won't say level, but he, he'll be able to drive and let it fall out where I want it to. So if I say, start right there against the base and then drive this way, it'll be somewhat level and then I can mess with it later, right? So I just, here's my problem is, I don't know how many yards of rock I really need. So um, I'm, I ordered two trucks coming today, two 40 yard trucks delivering the Grizzly Run gravel. And we're gonna start up here and just see how, what, what that is. I wanna see what $700 gets me. And then next month we can either add to it or I can plan accordingly because the whole driveway loop around there also needs rock, but I need tractor work done before that and everything. So I got a lot going on. <laughs> Let me move these solar panels though. Eight hours later. <sighs> well. I may have to eat my words here a little bit. The whole point of this was, was to try to save a little bit of money and go with a different company that's a little cheaper. And uh, I, so so I made this appointment uh, four, four days ago and they said, uh, yeah, you're gonna need to be there. We don't know what time it's gonna be there, but you'll get a call about 30 minutes out and uh, it, it's guaranteed to be there on that day. I'm like, all right, okay. So it is 
it is now 4 4 20 p.m okay i just got a phone call two minutes ago after literally afraid to even leave the property because of this rock truck and for some reason they decided to wait 40 minutes before they the business even closes to say oh yeah we've been we've been behind all day we're not going to get to you today how about tomorrow <sighs> now look <laughs> i could have i could have structured my day a little bit better uh it's not that i haven't done projects throughout the day i've kept my phone with me my apple watch has been on so in case i get a phone call and my phone's away i can talk on my talk to him but um I've really just been sitting here waiting for this truck to arrive for eight hours and I find out right at the end that they are not even going to show up and I'm a little frustrated about that. I'm sure a lot of homeowners have dealt with that with the cable company or the phone or the internet people saying your window is eight to five and then at 4.50 you get a call that says yeah we're not going to make it. I, 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 <laughs> I wanted to go get pizza at noon. I wanted to go get beer down at the store early. I wanted to go for a ride, but I'm parked here all day and you wasted my day. I don't know if they could have told me sooner. I don't appreciate it very much, but I'm living the country life now. Uh, uh, it is what it is. So um, I'm gonna give another update here at the end of the video. I'm gonna just keep this rolling. We'll try again tomorrow with Spring Mountain Materials here and uh, see if they can keep their word and deliver my rock. I haven't paid anything yet, um, but kind of sucks. So um, no, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bummed. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see. They're not up there now. Oh, they're both in my captain's chair. The kitties have been loving what I, what I have cleared up here for them. These last four totes need to go into the trailer. Ooh, the sunshine is bright up there. I'm having a solar problem too. Here, I'll tell you in here in just a minute. But let me show you. Trailer Swift, getting her loaded up. Yeah, so everything here inside Trailer Swift, I can live without. I've got another speaker. We've got all my Christmas decorations, some other storage things utilities and stuff like that uh everything in here is going to go to sholo soon uh today would have been a great day to hook up the trailer and go into town uh, uh well you know uh yeah plus i just put the solar back out here as a sun i put all these panels inside and my battery went down to 60 percent because i was getting rock today right here <sighs> so now here one hour of sun will try to get those charged back up but i am i'm actually having an issue with the solar panels on the roof and that is due to the fact that here in arizona in the daytime the sun is directly above us for the first time ever with this system and uh i keep flipping a, a breaker in the middle of the day uh before i show you that breaker though something strange happened so i've got 1280 watts on the roof and you know how you usually see like 80 percent of that best you'll ever see no, I got, I forgot what it was, like 1,230 watts out of 1,280. How is that even possible, Eric? It's not the watts that are getting me though, it's the amps. All right, so if we take a peek in here, that's my charge controller. It is a 150 amp charge controller. However, this right here keeps popping. This is a 100 amp breaker right here, this dual breaker right here. So it keeps popping. I'll come out here and it's like that. We're getting no solar because we've exceeded the 100 amps of this breaker right here so i gotta come turn it back on and right now it's gonna be fine because the sun is actually so low well we won't even get close to 100 amps but the first time since 2017 when this system was installed on my other rv that this breaker in the middle of the day is popping so i need to try to find 125 uh amp doubled in DC breaker, which you're not going to find these at Home Depot. Uh, you'll find plenty of normal household AC breakers, but those are specifically uh, DC breakers. And uh, actually, I wonder if that uh, solar place down the road might sell them. I wouldn't do 150, but also I feel like if there wasn't a breaker right there, this charge controller probably has its own protection at 150 if you, you know, but let's, let's just Let's just go to 125. I'll never go over 125. I'll try to find that one and fix that problem. Or <laughs> what else I could do, I wouldn't recommend this, but I could get a piece of cardboard and tape it over part of one of the panels. 
Just, just to bring it down so it doesn't hit 100 amps again. That would do it, but I think you can also uh, damage some cells if you keep some cells covered over, over multiple days of sun, I think. Yeah. Let's find the breaker first. That's, that, that's nothing, that's nothing. I haven't seen any hummingbirds use it yet, but I don't think that it would evaporate that much. I think, I think the local hummingbirds have found my feeder. I'll have to keep a better eye on it. Um, unfortunately, or actually, you know what? I'm just gonna laugh. Uh, the rock people called me this morning at 9 a.m. She said, uh, I just wanna be honest with you. I do not think today is going to work. However, I am gonna put you on the slot for Friday for the very first delivery at 8 a.m., which is something we don't usually do. We usually give an all-day window, but I'm letting you know that it won't be there today, but on Friday, you will have the first two loads at 8 a.m. on your property. And, and, and all I could really think at that point, I was like, thank you. Th th thank you for the phone call. Thank you for not making me waste another day out here. Um, I really appreciate that professionalism. And uh, I will see you guys on Friday morning. So that's where we're at. It opens up my whole day today. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and we'll try rock another day. But I, I am going to fire up the RV for the first time in over two weeks. However, I tried and it wouldn't start. So I popped the hood of Frida here to plug in my battery charger and noticed right away under the hood, that's not mouse poop, that's rat poop. I know you probably can't tell in the picture, but uh, the whole front area was covered in rat poop. That troubles me because that means that this rodent repellent thing right here does absolutely nothing. I've already vacuumed up all the mouse poop and the RV did fire up, so at least there's no wires that have been chewed. But when we go out today, as part of my next video, uh, we're gonna stop at Home Depot and we're gonna look at some both spray repellent as well as a few other products to go under here. And I think I'm also going to wire up a light, like an actual, not, not a solar light, but I'm gonna keep the hood open, at least through the summer, with a light shining down here non-stop, all day, all night. Okay, so anyway, let me uh, take a shower real quick and then uh, I'll be working on my next video and I'll see you guys in a few days and we'll go from there. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for sticking it out with me. And uh, don't forget to jet on over to Instagram. Find me over there, Nomadic Fanatic TV and uh, got a little surprise for you guys. Whoop.